In the north of Scandinavia, mainly within the Arctic Circle, there live a race of people called the Leps. In winter, Lapland is covered with snow, and even in summer, there are still patches of snow on the mountainsides. Arctic winds blow through the birch trees. These are the Leps. This dress is their national costume, and they wear it every day, not just for special occasions. During the summer, they are nomads living in tents. They are short. The men are about five feet tall. A great deal of Lapland is rough and swampy, and there are very few roads. See how difficult it is for the horse to pull a cart over this sort of country. These people are studying Lapland. They wear nets over their heads to protect themselves from the swarms of mosquitoes. When summer comes, after the long hours of winter darkness, it comes very quickly. This long-tailed skewer returns to her nest to brood her egg. The skewer is a kind of gull. The egg rests in a scrape in the ground, and it is all she has for a nest. Another common bird is the red-spotted blue-throat. It is a small bird about the size of a robin. The female doesn't have the beautiful colours of the male. And here he is with a beak full of insects for the young. The Lapland bunting nests on the ground, like most other birds here, for trees are scarce in much of Lapland. The wimbrel also nests on the ground. Notice the protective colouring. On a mountainside overlooking lakes and swamps, a pair of rough-legged buzzards have built their nest. The mother has brought back a vole to feed her babies. There are plenty of swamps and lakes in Lapland, and these are the home of many birds, such as the wood sandpiper. These birds are called phalaropes. They are especially interesting because it is the father which sits on the eggs and hatches them. The mother, of course, lays them. She wears the brighter plumage. And this is the father on the left. In Arctic regions, summer brings long hours of daylight and the midnight sun. The ground is then carpeted with brilliant flowers and lichens. But few of these grow more than a few inches from the ground. As the snow melts, the reindeer herds begin to move northwards in search of fresh grazing. They live on mosses and lichens, which take several years to grow, and also on the leaves of stunted willow trees. So they have to travel tremendous distances in search of their food. The reindeers are all owned by Laps who migrate with their herds. 
Without the reindeer, the Laps could not live here, for they depend on them for meat and use their skins for many things, such as boots and rugs. When the antlers grow during the summer, they have a velvety covering, but this will have peeled off by winter. In summertime, the Laps follow their reindeer herds, living in encampments like this. They have spent the winter in wooden huts to the south, but now they sleep in tents stretched on frameworks of birch trees. Here, a tent is being erected. Once, reindeer skins would have been used to cover it, but this family now have canvas sheets. Notice the reindeer antlers near the tent. The bones of these will be used to make small tools. The Laps make their own implements for hunting and fishing from simple materials such as this wire and reindeer sinew. The skin is prepared by scraping to remove any fat. Then it is softened by rubbing it in the hands. Skins were prepared like this in prehistoric times. Here a thread is being spun from reindeer hair in order to finish them sewing. Laps are fond of their children, and they are very well cared for. These children are playing on reindeer skins, which are used for bedding inside the tents. They are warmly dressed, for Lapland is chilly even in the summer. These dogs are similar to husky dogs. They help to round up the reindeer herd. Here is a family, father, mother, and their son Isaac. Isaac goes to school in winter, but in summer he has one long holiday. Lap men wear a special cap known as the cap of the four winds. It has four points which hang down at the back. Women don't wear this cap. Instead, the mother has an embroidered bonnet. Their boy Isaac wears his cap of the four winds. Like all Laplanders, he leads a hard life in a difficult country, yet he is always friendly and cheerful. <laughs>